Okay, I'm making this video for my coworker John E. You know who you are. So I'm going to show you how to solve a 3 by 3 cube using only one algorithm, and it's called the sexy move. First, let me show you that sexy move. So the, there's a right-handed and a left-handed version. So the right-handed version starts like this. You're going to move the right side away from you. Use your right trigger finger to move the top this way. Then return it back to where it was. And then you'll use your left trigger finger. That's one time. So I'm going to do it again. Right away from you. Right trigger finger. Return it where it was. Left trigger finger. If you do it six times, it'll return to its original position, the, the cube. Well, so that was twice. So I'm going to show you. That's three. Four. Five. Six. Now, the left sexy move. Remember, left away from you, left trigger finger, return it to where it was, right trigger finger. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can use this one algorithm, the left-handed and right-handed version, to solve the whole cube. Now I'm going to mix this cube up and just show you how to use that algorithm. Okay, so we're going to start with, a lot of people like to solve the cube starting on the right face, so we're going to use the right face. Now, the cube is made up of three different types of pieces. The center pieces, which if you keep your eye on this center piece, you'll see that it doesn't move. No matter what I do, that center piece doesn't move. There's six centers. Then you have edge pieces. These edge pieces can only be edge pieces. They have two colors on them. And you have the corner pieces, those have three colors. So you have centers, edges, and corners. So now we're gonna start with a, we're gonna solve for the white cross. So what we wanna do is, we wanna have a white edge piece, either here or here, to move, before we move it to the top. So we're looking for one, so there's one there. So there's a white edge piece there. And we wanna make sure that this, this edge piece in the back is clear. And you'll see why later, but just make sure that this edge piece is clear. So you're going to do a sexy move on the left, because this one's on the left. So we do the sexy move. We place that one on. We place that one in place. So let's look for another one. Well, there's another one there. So we want to move it down to this side or this side. So we can move it here. Now again, make sure that this one is empty in the back. So we need to rotate this so that's empty. We're going to do the right sexy move because this edge piece is on the right side. So now we got two placed. There's another one. Well, this this piece happens to be empty, so this this is already perfect. So we're gonna do right sexy move. Now we have three placed, and let's look for the last one. There's the last one. It's on the right side, so we're gonna do right sexy move. But remember, this one has to be empty. So we're gonna rotate it this way and do a right sexy move. Now you see you have a white cross. But now we're, look, we're going to look at these edges to make sure that they're in the right place. So this one is not in the right place. Neither is this one. Neither is this one. Neither is this one. So then we're going to turn it one time. Well, now you see this was in the right place. This is in the right place. This is in the right place. Or this is in the right place. Now that's not always going to happen. So I'm going to give you another scenario. So we have a scenario where, where we're looking at these. We have one in the right place. Wrong 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 so we're going to turn it we have right wrong wrong right so we have two in the right place whenever you have two in the right place and you might have you might have this scenario where there's two in the right place side by side or you might have a scenario like let me let me set it up for you here i'm sorry i'm doing this but i just I have to show you the different situations you might come into or you might have one in the right, one right, and one right, and then the other two are wrong. If I switch these this way, then these two will be right, and these two will be wrong. So in any case, put the wrong one in the back. So in this case, we have a correct one here, and we have a wrong one there. We're going to put that wrong one in the back and do a sexy move on the right side. We'll do a sexy move, and then we'll just go ahead and put this back in place. So now let's look at it. So we have one right. So move this. Okay, we have one right, one right, 
and we have one wrong, one wrong. So remember, put this put this wrong one in the back. So this one is correct, this one is correct. This one in the back is wrong, this one in the right is wrong. And then we'll do the sexy move. And then we'll put this back up. Now, we have all four correct. So now, we're going to put the white side on the bottom. And we're looking for the corners. I told you we got the edges. These are the edges, now we're looking for the corners. So now you look at the corners, and remember, we're looking for white and then the other two colors. So we have a white, green, and orange. So we look for a green and orange. So we're just going to keep track of this one and turn the, turn the bottom till we find there's green, there's orange. So this one goes there. So I'm going to do a sexy move here until it gets in its place and it's oriented correctly. So we're going to do the sexy move one time. One time we'll put it there, but you see how it's in place, but it's, it's not correct. The second sexy move is going to kick it out. The third sexy move is going to put it back in, but it's still oriented incorrectly. So we're going to do another sexy move. It kicks it out. Do another sexy move. That was a fifth sexy move, but it's in place now and it's oriented correctly. And do another one. So here's uh, red and green. So let's find red and green. So there's red and green right there. Now, I'm going to show you a little shortcut for this. So if the white side, if you're facing this way, you got green and red. You have green and red. If the white side is facing to the left, go ahead and turn it to the left and do a left sexy move. And it only takes one sexy move to put it in place. See? Now, if it's on top, it's going to take two, at least two, uh, four sexy moves. And you'll see. So this one is blue and orange. So we're going to find blue and orange. And that's blue and orange. So you're going to do the sexy move one time. It doesn't matter which side because it's on top. So that's one. So it's in place, but it's, it's not oriented correctly. There's two. It kicked back out. Three. And I said four, but it's three. So now it's in the correct place. Now let's find the last one. Here's, here's another one that's face up. So it doesn't matter. I'll do it to the left this time. But you're going to do one, two, three. So that one's in its correct place. So now we got all the corners, the bottom corners. Now let's look at these edges in the middle layer. So let's find one. Here's green and red. So the side that it matches, face that, that side faces you. So the green matches, so the green's facing you. So you're going to move this away from where it's going to go. And then you're going to do a sexy move on this side. And remember, we're doing green and red. So we did a green sexy move, turn it to the red side, and do a sexy move on the right side now. That's placed. This one happened to be in the right place. Here's a blue and orange. So let's line that up there. So this the blue is lined up. So we're going to move it away from the spot that it goes. Do a sexy move on this side. And then a sexy move on this side. That one's placed. So let's find this one. So the the red is lined up because it it happens to line up here. So we have it facing us. Turn it away from where it's supposed to go and do a sex move on that side. And you did a sex move on the red side. Now do a sex move on the blue side. And that's placed. So now you have the first two layers solved. Now you're looking at looking for a cross here. So in this scenario, I'm just going to flip this real quick and show you because the, these are the scenario number one. You have nothing, no cross. So you still have the these two. Scenario number one, no cross. You're gonna you're gonna turn the front face to the right and do a sexy move to the right, and then you're gonna do the front face back up. So now you have scenario number one, scenario number one was zero. Scenario number two is you have two that are side by side. So you have two side by side. Make it look like a lowercase r, so you know that's right. That's correct. So if it's a lowercase r, then turn the front face this way. Do a right sexy move and return the front face that way. So that was that was scenario number two. This is scenario number three. You have a line. So in this case, you want the line facing this way. Turn it to the right. Do a sexy move. And then turn the front face back. Now you have the cross. So that covers all the scenarios. Now you're looking for two pieces that have the same color. So you have a green and a blue, orange, and so that's not going to work. So you have to go this way, you have a green and green. Okay, so move those to the green side and see if these match. This does not match, and this does not match. So you're going to put the two unmatching ones on this side. You're going to do three sexy moves here, and then three sexy moves here. So remember, these two need to switch. So I'm going to do one, 
two, three. I'm going to turn it this way. One, two, three. Now those two pieces have switched. Now these two, these happen to be correct, so it's okay. Now we're going to turn this upside down, and this confuses people. You have to complete the sexy move, all four pieces of it, all four moves. So you want this yellow one to be here. We're going to do the sexy move until this yellow face is here. So we're going to do it once, twice. Now the yellow is then in this place. Ignore everything else. Turn the bottom face, only the bottom face. This one is incorrect. Do the sexy move. Now that it's correct, if you had another one, you'd turn that one and keep doing that. But once you have all four, all four corners correct, now you're, you're good to go. So now you have this scenario. Well, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it real quick so that you can see one of the other, um, the scenarios you're gonna be left with at the end. So now you just have the four, the four edges incorrect. So if you have none of them correct, then you hold the white on the bottom. You're gonna do one, one, five, five. So one sexy move this way, one on this side. Now five on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Five on this side. One, two, three, four, five. So now, scenario number two, you have one correct. So you need to look at this one. Does this red one go here? No. Does this blue one go here? Yes. So since this blue one goes here, you're going to start on the left side. But you're going to do the same thing. One sexy move on the left side, one sexy move on the right side. Then five on the left. One, two, three, four, five. Five on the right. One, two, three, four, five. And that is how you solve the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube and other types of cubes with one algorithm. Thanks for watching.